In this screencast, we're going to introduce you to some of the basic concepts and terms in Sports Tech Game Breaker. When you launch Game Breaker, you'll be presented with the startup dialog window. This window gives you a simple way to do one of the following. I can create a new project, open an existing project, start an instant capture, or open a recent project that I've been working on. And if this is the first time you're launching Game Breaker, obviously there won't be any recent projects in this area. So for this example, I'm just going to create a new project by clicking on this button here. And I'm presented with this, with this window where I can name the project that I'm about to create and choose its destination. So that could be something like this where it's Team A versus Team B. And maybe this happened on the 10th of October, 2010 and I want to save it to the desktop here or I could choose some other destination. If I want to save it in a specific folder that doesn't appear on this menu, I can click this little triangle and then choose a more specific location. In this case, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. So once I click Save, you can see that the Sports Tech Game Breaker project window opens and at this point your first step would probably be to either import or capture a movie. And we'll cover how to do that in another screencast. But for now, I'm going to close this project, which you can see has been saved to the desktop here, and open an existing project that I've already created, this Duke versus UNC. And to do that, I can open it a couple different ways. I could simply double click on it from the desktop here, and that will launch Game Breaker and open the project window. Let me close this. And again, I could also launch Game Breaker here. I could choose Open Project, then select it from the desktop and click Open. Or I could just click on it here in the Recent Projects area. And you can see my Team A versus Team B has also showed up in the Recent Projects area already. So I'll just open it from the Recent Projects area by clicking on it. Again, the Project window opens here. And now we can talk about some of the basics of the Project window. The project window is divided into four basic zones. The zone in the top left is called the movie zone. If I hover my mouse over it, you can see that the playback controls show up. I can use these playback controls to do things like play, pause, move forward in the movie frame by frame, fast forward in the movie, move backwards frame by frame, and also rewind. I can also control the volume here, as well as choose to watch the movie in full screen by clicking on these arrows. The zone towards the bottom of the project window is called the timeline. And if I click and drag this red vertical line, which is called the playhead, you can see that the movie reacts accordingly. So this area is literally a timeline of the movie that's been captured or imported into the project window. The area in the top right is called a coding form. A coding form is where you'll create and name code buttons like I've done already here in order to code the movie that you've imported. So you'll use these three zones, the movie window, the timeline, and the coding form in order to code the movie. And at its most basic level, that looks like this. If I'm in code mode on the coding form by clicking here, you can see the movie starts playing right away. I'll use the code buttons to mark points in the movie, such as this is the beginning of the Duke offensive possession. And you can see in the timeline now, the instance is starting to build in the row in the timeline. And there's the end of the Duke possession, offensive possession, and now they're going to start on defense, so I can use this button to mark the beginning of their defensive possession, and if I continue to play, you can see that a second instance is being created in another row on the timeline. And then I'll use this button again to mark the end of the Duke pos defensive possession. So that's the basic idea of how to code a movie in Game Breaker. So just to clarify, an instance is one of these two blue segments 
in a row on a timeline. They really just denote that an event happened over this span of time. In this case, it's in the Duke defensive row, so this should be a Duke defensive possession. If I want to review it, I can just double click on it and then watch it in the movie zone. And that looks pretty good. And then when I'm done, I can click on this thumbnail here and return to the main movie. So you can see that when I double clicked on this instance to watch it, it added that instance to the fourth zone of the project window, which we call the movie dock. The dock is this area between the movie zone and the timeline where you can organize or sequence the instances into a final presentation that you can then show to others. And you might also make use of other tools such as whiteboards or drawing objects to dress up that presentation. So for example, if I wanted this instance that's in the movie doc to be removed, I could simply click and drag it off, or I could click and drag the instance itself up into the movie doc, and you can see it's added that way. And again, I can click on this thumbnail to return to the main movie and the main timeline. Lastly, you also have the flexibility of changing the layout of the project window by clicking on dragging on the boundaries between the zones. So for example, if I wanted more area in my coding form, I could click and drag on this boundary here. Or below the movie zone, I could also click and drag to increase or decrease the size of the timeline. I can also use these two buttons towards the bottom right to toggle on and off or hide and reveal the coding form. You can see that button hides and reveals the coding form and this one just to the right hides and reveals the timeline. So I hope that gives you a decent understanding of some of the basics of Game Breaker. Please watch our other screencasts to learn more specific features within each of the zones to make your workflow as efficient and effective as it can be. Thanks for watching.